Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now we're really keen on the Pinball Arcade recreations of real pinball machines. So we're excited today to have Bobby King, lead designer for Pinball Arcade, here to talk about one table in particular, the Adams Family. The Adams Family table is not only the best selling table of all time, as far as real uh, pinball out there in arcades, um, but it's also the most requested table that we've ever gotten um, throughout the history of us making the, the, his, the Pinball Hall of Fame and the Pinball Arcade. And I remember playing the Adams Family. I guess it had just come out when I was at university. It must have been mid nineties, um, mm -hmm. and something about it clicked with me at a personal level. And I, we just played that one again and again, and nothing else quite lived up to it. What do you think it is about that machine that makes it sort of stand the test of time? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, it's it's a great table, um, but there's been a lot of great tables. So, like, what makes that one table stand out? And I think it is just the way that the different features of the table come together. Um, you know, Pat Lawler tables have this ability to attract the people who are relatively novices at pinball and also have this incredibly deep rule set uh, for expert players. And the tables just flow really well. Um, and with the use of side flippers and with really cool features like the the thing's hand and uh, the thing flip. Um, it's just a really well done table. The The presentation is great. You've got the, all the actors. You've got the, uh, the Raul Julia voiceover. They had a special session with, just with him. So yeah, there's a lot of great features with it. And, and there's the magnets too, um, controlling your ball in the middle. So it's, it's just a table just filled with great features. Um, that it's relatively easy to understand what you want to do as a player and yet also has the depth of you know going for great high scores yeah so we're looking at this at the moment and it looks really good this is still a, a beta version that you've kindly granted us access to mm -hmm. and so i mean aware that this comes off the back of a kickstarter personally for me it was a huge challenge because i was told by several different people in licensing that it was going to be impossible to get all the different players and all the different IP holders um, to agree to allow us to make this table for any fee that was going to be feasible for us to afford. Or even like, it might even be impossible to get the rights. For example, Raul Julia's um, likeness and voiceover talent, um, he's passed away and the rights have reverted uh, to his estate. And I was told that other people who have tried to get those rights were basically flat out told no. Um, in the past, so that in and of itself would make the table recreation impossible. Mm -hmm. um, but in addition to Raul Julia, there is the Adams Family Foundation owns the Adams Family rights. The uh, Paramount Pictures owns the rights to all of the movie content. Uh, then you have the music license um, on top of that for the, the very recognizable theme song that you really can't do without. And then you have seven different actors that are in the table. Again, like it's been three years in the making uh, to get the licenses all to come together to get, to even get a, an amount of money that we knew that we were gonna have to pay at, for guarantees, which is what we've asked our fans to help us out um, through Kickstarter. And our fans are great. Like I, I can't uh, tell you enough, just the, the support that we get on Kickstarter for these expensive licensed tables has been phenomenal. Now, what I'm after are some real sort of pro tips. You guys have obviously taken the machine apart, put it back together in virtual form. What's the best way to rack up some big, really big points? Right. The, the best way that the, the pro players out there rack up points is to um, spell out greed in a way that's safe, that you don't want to you know, risk losing the ball, mm -hmm. and you want to get some, some bonus points along the way. So what they do is they, they backhand from the bottom right flipper, the bookcase, and they try to aim for the right portion of it. So when you backhand the flip, backhand the bookcase from the right flipper and hit the right side, it'll kind of like stay there. And then with the upper right flipper, then you can hit the side ramp and then it feeds you back the ball. Oh, I it see. And then you're back where you need to be. You have really good control of the ball. So yeah. then you keep doing it. And then once you've spelled out greed, then you can, you know, you know lock two balls and get multi-ball. But while you're doing it, hitting the side ramp that many times is going to build up a bonus that's going to give you tons of points. Nice, I like it. That's really cool. And it's interesting that you talk about that's how the pro players play in, in real life. So it seems like there's a, quite a high degree of tuning to make sure that the way you play 
the pinball arcade version of the machine matches how you'd play the physical table. Right, and and we've been improving that process throughout the years. And so we now have, you know, several different pinball pro player consultants who play the tables, give us feedback for what they think, you know, is a little off um, based on the strategy the strategies that they want to use. Um, and we also have our expertise internal um, is always improving. And so we're now looking at just finer, you know, fidelity of, of tuning details uh, that get the, the table playing, you know, great, not just for the pro players, but getting it playing um, in a way that reacts as realistic as the real table that we have here does. Yes, nice. Really good. Well, I'm going to go and play some more on this beta and try out some of those pro tips. But what I'd like to do is to come back, maybe talk to you again about some of the mechanics of actually taking machines apart and putting them back together. Sure, that sounds great. Super. Thanks for your time. Thanks.